Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Today is Wednesday, and here we have the class number 13. Okay, so we're going to start in a moment, and we're waiting for some other uh, participants to get connected. Vamos a esperar algunos que pues, se puedan conectar. So, in this case, we're going to start, but before here, uh, I can see that here we have Frank. Good evening, Frank. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Good. Okay, very nice. Is it no rain tonight, right? No lluvia ahora. No. Okay. no. Okay, that's perfect. That's really good. No rain tonight. And here we have also uh, Carly. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Mm, so, so. Better than yesterday, right? Mejor que ayer. Yes, definitely. Yesterday, I saw you very tired. Te vi cansadita, yeah? Yes. And I was very tired. Yes, I was very tired yesterday. <laughs> there are some days I don't know why you feel like very but very tired. A veces hay días que te sentís tan cansado. Yes, I don't want to go to work anymore. You don't want to get up from bed. Yes. You just want to turn off the alarm and continue sleeping, right? Yes. But unfortunately, we have to go to work. And I know it's difficult, but well, today we have like, well, tonight we have better feeling. Okay, that's good. Okay, just remember seven classes, seven classes and we finished. That's really good. I guess we're waiting for the vacations. Creo que estamos esperando las vacaciones. En la noche, por, 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 por supuesto, right? After this, you can take advantage of the time. Uno puede aprovechar los días, ¿verdad? And then we continue. Good, Carly. Here we have also Flor. Good evening, Flor. Uh, Jocelyn, Judith, William, Good Roberto. Hi, hello. Here we have Elizabeth, and Marvin, and Helen. Okay. Hello, Marvin. Good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Everything okay? Yep. Here, here, a little tighter. Oh, really? Yes, a little tighter. Yes, I know. I don't know why this week is very strange. Extraño esta semana, okay. Eh, Marvin, no rain in, near your house, cerca de tu casa? No rain, no lluvia? No, for the moment. Okay, that's perfect. Sometimes we have problems with the connection of the internet because of the rain. That, that usually happens. Okay, let's continue with this. And here we have the topic, class number 13. Ya llevamos por lo menos el, el 60% de, 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 de todo el curso, ¿ok? Class number uh, 13. Present continuous with WH questions. Las preguntas WH eh, con el present continuous. Vamos a continuar siempre este utilizando los verbos con ING. And we're going to check this. Good evening, Judith. Hi. I can hear you. No puedo escucharte. Good evening. Ah, Hola. Good evening. ¿Cómo estuvo la rumba de ayer? Nice. Perfect. Perfect. Pero, ay, se fue. Bye. Ok. Se fue de rumba. Está bien. Check it. Nice. Good to see <laughs> no you again. Ok. Gusto de verles. And we're going to... Bueno. Ok. Perfect. We are going to continue with the same topic that I was talking yesterday. Borrow versus lend. Okay. Both of them means prestar. Ambos significan prestar. But the point in here is that we can use it in two uh, different phrases. For example, we can say, may I borrow your pen? Or can I borrow your pen? Or could you lend me your pen? Can you lend me your book? So that's it. Just uh, to for you to keep it in mind, para que lo tengan en mente. And also, here we have uh, some examples as well. Okay, and borrow versus lend. Okay, and borrow is to take something from someone and then give it back later. Okay, 
eh, eh, significa tomar algo, take some, something and give it back later, después entregarlo. But lend is uh, to give something to someone, dar algo a alguien, como su corazón, ¿verdad? Así, un perito se su corazón, ¿ok? And they're going to bring that back. Y después ellos le se lo van a entregar. Pero cuando siempre dan su corazón, siempre viene, ok, in different ways. Entonces, it applies for money, for objects. It applies for, yeah, for mainly for material things. Aplica para cosas materiales, okay? Now we're going to continue with some other vocabulary. And here we have this. And here we have words with silent W. Palabras con la W silenciosa. It means that we are not going to pronounce W. No vamos a pronunciar la W. And um, the last course, you remember, I show you silent letters. ¿Se recuerdan que el, el, algunos que estuvieron conmigo el curso pasado les mostré las letras silenciosas? Okay. Those are the letters that are not pronounced. And that makes a difference. Ven, eh, hacen una, una diferencia grande. Okay, we don't say answer. We don't say answer. We say answer. Answer. La hace, pero dice como eh. Entonces, okay, please, let's listen to your answers. Okay. Entonces no se dice answer. Okay, so in this case. Answer. Then here we have wrist. In this case, okay. Can you say answer significa respuesta? Rest significa muñeca, pero muñeca de, de puño, porque muñeca de juguete se dice doll. Okay, so rest. Then here we have sword, sword, que significa espada. Also, a very common verb that we use a lot. It is really useful and common. Right, not right. Right, right. And here we have this uh, right, yes, escribir, okay? Let's write some examples. Vamos a escribir algunos ejemplos. Look, this is really important. Porque a veces pasamos, we spend a lot of years uh, pronouncing differently these words. And we believe that we are correct. Creemos que está correcto, but no, uh, it's a mistake. Then here we have rough. No W, rap, como que si fuera, el otro es rap, rap, pero es rap, es envolver, rap, like, for example, in Taco Bell, you can see raps that are kind of, I don't know, it's, there are some, it's food, es como, como los burritos parecidos que están impuestos, okay, and then here we have wrinkle, wrinkle, algo que la gente no le quiere cuando aparece, que son arrugas, wrinkle, okay, So that's it, yes, creo que nadie le dice. Answer, rest, sword, right, wrap, wrinkle. Y esta palabra, right, se parece a esta, yes. Yes, right, de derecha, o oh. right significa derecha, y la otra, right, de escribir. Teacher, but how can we have like differences. How can we the, uh, have the meaning, the correct meaning in that sentence? Well, because of the context, okay? Please turn right. Por favor, gira a la derecha. Turn right. No, gira a, a y escribir. No, okay, turn right. And for example, oh, you are right. Tú estás en lo correcto. You are right. Okay. You're right. Okay. No decimos, ah, esa es no correcto. No decimos, tú estás, eh, ¿qué? Escribir. Mm -mm. Okay. So that's the difference. We have to listen to the rest of the words in the context. So we can have a better idea about this. Well, um, o oh, cuando decimos, por ejemplo, please, please write your full name. Por favor, escribe tu nombre completo. No decimos, por favor, derecha tu nombre completo. Mm -hmm. It's like, what? Right? So, right. Really nice. Very useful words. 
So I will going to um, check the attendance list, okay? And you tell me hi, good evening, present, hello. And then you can tell me one of these words, remember. Answer, no answer, N, N, okay? Answer, rest, short, right, wrap, wrinkles, no W. In this case, I'm going to go. Let me see. Abigail. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. What's your so. Perfect. Good pronunciation. What about Flor? Present teacher. Right. Right. Good. Uh, Frank. Okay, Francisco. You go. Uh, Rob. Rob. Very nice. Thank you, Ms. Ekman. Okay, in this case, uh, Gabriel, are you there? Well, if you're not there, and um, Helen, I don't know if Helen is moving, but then here we have Iris. No, Jimmy, maybe it's not connected. Present. Okay, Jimmy, hello there. I know that, are you in El Salvador or in another country? Uh, other country. Oh, okay, nice. So, que ya tenemos ojos azules. Yes. Very nice, very nice. Thank you, Jimmy. Uh, yes. <laughs> Okay, perfect. I know that it is going to be difficult for you to, to participate, but please text me if you can participate. Me okay? Thank you. And okay. And let's continue with Juan. I don't know if Juan is here. No. Okay. Judith? Hi there. Rest. Hello. What's your word? Rest. Ah, rest. Ah, rest. Okay, yes. Rest, the cancer is me. Okay. Judith, um, do you like Maribel? No. Yes. Yes. Mari? No. <laughs> Why? Like Leo Dance sounds really good. Okay, no Mari. No problem. Ivania? Are you present. Hello there. Okay, what's your word? Uh, answer. Answer. Okay, thank you. Uh, Carly? Present teacher, Rank. Okay. okay, perfect. Kathy? Kathy, no, here. Okay, uh, David? Present, present. <laughs> Okay, Kathy, hello. What's your word? Uh, Wits. Thank you. And what about Marvin? What do you need here? Good evening. Wrinkle. Okay, good. Uh, Nelson Fabricio. Hello, teacher. Hello there. Okay, Nelson. Um, are you at home? Yes. Okay, maybe you have problems with the internet. Okay, I'm going to give you time. Okay, no problem. Let's miss. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, yes, everything okay? Um, I really have the problem with the... Uh... Uh, banding, banding. Ah, okay. Okay, maybe we can have like a better, a better stability. Okay, let's continue with Patty. Patty, Roberto. Present teacher, mm -hmm. answer. Thank you, good. Okay, nice. And uh, let's listen to Christy. What about you, Christy? Thank you. Answer. What's the word? Answer. 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 Good. Thank you. William? Present teacher. 
Okay, William, tell me your word. Answer. Good. And Jocelyn? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. All right. Right, good. And Aneris? I don't know if Aneris is there. Well, no yet. Okay. So we continue now hearing no. Ya sabemos, we already know words with silent W. Okay. And let's continue with uh, this. There is a, an interesting word. Yeah, I'm sorry. Interesting question. Okay, Patty. Thank you. Patty, uh, can you participate? Okay, maybe this is going to have a better say a little later. Which is more important? Important. No important. No important. 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 Okay. Which is more important? Talent, hard work, discipline, or perseverance? Why? Okay. ¿Qué es más importante? ¿Cuál es más importante? Talento, eh, trabajo duro, disciplina, perseverancia. Why? Okay. And do we have some opinions over here? You tell me if you want to participate. We're going to start maybe with Judith, que se me fue de parranda ayer. Okay, so she is more than ready. No fue parranda. Okay, digamos que no. Okay. No digamos, no sé. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. What's your opinion about this? Um, my opinion, I consider talent and discipline, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Discipline. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo? Discipline. Discipline. Be okay, because by having talent, you can stand out and do the job with passion. And discipline because everything is done in order and constantly. Okay, a very interesting word to the passion. And I guess that this is really necessary, especially when you are doing your work, for example. And sometimes people are like in the comfort zone hay gente que está como en la zona de confort and they are doing the same thing every day, but you are passionate or if you have passion, it's like you're going to do the things because you like it, porque te gusta, okay? Well, very nice opinion, thank you. Judith. Okay, let's listen now to Carly. And then we're going to listen to Elisa. Okay, Carly, what about you? Okay, teacher, I consider that everyone is important, however, discipline is the basis because if we do not have discipline in what we do, it will be difficult for us to persevere and work eff efficiently. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Discipline maybe is the base of, of, of everything. Um, remember, sometimes it is difficult when we are in high school and then we start working, or we are in university and we start working to get up or wake up before the alarm sounds or when the, the alarm sounds and do uh, things that it are mandatory, hacer las cosas que son obligatorias, on time, so that's discipline. And when you want to do something in order, yeah, definitely, yes. Thank you, Carly. What about you, Elizabeth? Teacher, tuve una premonición que justamente iba a decir Elizabeth. ¿Sabes qué pasa? Tú ¿Qué pasa? Tú ver el futuro 10 segundos antes de que todo sí, pase. Sí, ya tengo un superpoder, aunque yo quería otro. Ni modo. Agradecer que tenés su superpoder. Okay. Vaya, está bien, entonces. Agradeceré por lo que tengo. Yes, why not? Puedes hacer dinero con eso. Ok, come okay. on. Ok. 
in my opinion, perseverance is the most important thing because it is what makes people not give um, a shape what they send out to you. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. Perseverance is so important because if you give up, it's like maybe you are climbing a mountain, van subiendo por la montaña, y cuando ya están casi al tope, when you're almost at the top, maybe you can give up and return. So you have to complete, you have to finish what you, well, your objectives, your projects, personal projects, okay? So perseverance is uh, for you to continue, no matter what, no importa que, you have to continue, so that's it. For example, English classes, I know sometimes uh, you are so tired and you are very busy, but if you continue with perseverance, believe me, you are going to reach success. Thank you, Elizabeth. What if we listen now to um, Roberto? Are you ready? Yeah, teacher. Okay, thank you. In my opinion, each of them is important so that each person can perform in the best way. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Yeah. Also, as you said, it depends on every person, right? Maybe you can have your opinion about this. You can say, well, I believe that this is like this way, but yeah, it depends on every case. Thank you. What about... Um, Jocelyn and then Christy. Jocelyn, te escucho a lo lejos. Ahora. Ahora sí. Ok. For me, the most important talent is perseverance because it is what helps of achieve our goal and dreams despite the difficulties. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So I'm sorry, what's the most important for, for you? Perseverance. Ah, perseverance. Yes, 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 I mean. I guess sometimes we are, we are about to, to give up. I just am a punto for Mercedes, but well, if you have reached, reach, significa alcanzar. If you have reached a success or if you have finished your projects is because you have continued and that's the point. Thank you. Okay, Jocelyn, uh, what about Kristen? Are you ready? Oh, sorry. Okay, nice. Christy. You know, everyone is mm -hmm. important. Everyone okay. is important. Um, the, the difference, difference between talent and effort can be appreciated. Appreciate, uh, appreciate, uh, appreciate, appreciate. Appreciate. Above all, is that talent is. Related, relate, relate, related to intelligent. Mm -hmm. It is something in net, nothing, and that it facilitates facilitate the, the perform, performance, the performance of a certain activity. It shows the effort. It is the interest, interest and perseverance. Perseverance that the subject hopes to achieve that activity. Okay, nice. When you say innate, it's algo que ya viene nato. When you, what? If you have that talent and you, we have like specific abilities that we are good at, somos buenas ciertas habilidades, ciertos talentos, and also we can develop podemos desarrollar. We can develop some talents and probabilities, okay? 
So you can learn a lot of things through your life. Thank you, um, Christy. And you. we go, we want to finish this round with Francisco. Are you ready, Francisco? I'm ready. Please. Uh, my opinion generalizes all those characters as well, everything must go together, not only to look good with the boss, but also to do things what it does make for you good about yourself. Mm -hmm. That's it. It is not just about having a good image or a good uh, appearance with your boss, with your, your uh, partners, but also do the things, the correct things, the way you, you can. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, and here we have some words that I consider like important. There are key words. We have passion, give up, quedarse por vencido, reach, alcanzar, innate, not to develop, develop and desarrollar. And the other word that it is uh, important, no important, important. Carry out is como develop, es desarrollar o hacer. Set goals es establecer, establecer eh, metas. Okay. Skills es um, habilidades. Okay. So that's it. Success es éxito y succeed es tener éxito. That's the difference because uh, this is a noun and this is a verb. Sustantivo, success, éxito, and succeed, tener éxito. Okay. And let's listen to, well, I don't know if some of you have difficulties. Let me see. No, no son parts que tienen dificultades. Fabricio? Everything okay? Can you hear me? Yes, but can you hear me? Yes, now yes, because the the last time was okay, like, okay. with interference. Okay, very nice. Um, are you ready to give your opinion or later? Uh, I'm ready. Okay, ready. Always ready. Please. From um, from my experience. Uh, without talent, hard work, discipline, and perseverance, you will not get far in the life, and everything is connected to the successful life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, good, because there are some important points, right? But everything is connected. Mm -hmm. Nice. Every, con everything is connected. Okay, good. Experience. Experience. Okay, yes, and that's really important. And besides, además, besides discipline, you need talent, you need perseverance and hard work. But obviously there are some important uh, like clues, like como algo más importante que es como que super específico. Okay, and a question, you did put this there, um, configurar el fondo? Fíjate que cuando yo estaba configurando el fondo, a mí me, me, se me dificultaba. Pero tenés que seleccionar el color que predomine en la parte de atrás. De, 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 de. Uh -huh. Sí, puede, porque te veías como depredador, que de repente desaparecía así. Sí. Ya lo cambié, ya. Mejor no. Para ¿Segura? la próxima. ¿Segura? Ok. Sí. Nice. Ok, perfecto. Solo vamos a ir. Sí, no, es que de repente desaparece ahí. What? Are you okay? ok? Very nice. Créanme, pues a veces, sometimes, because we have the, the part, la, la parte de atrás del escenario. Ok. So, um, here we have this. Let me show you something. Ok. Here. Here we have a conversation between Rose and Mary. But yeah, sabemos que a Judith no le gusta que le digan Mary. Okay, so no es ella, es otra. Here we have this. Hello, Mary. What are some activities you are doing this week? Fíjense bien. Le dice, hola, Mary. 
¿Cuáles son algunas de las actividades que vas a hacer esta semana? Hi, Rose. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am singing some play roles on Tuesday and I'm sending emails on Wednesday. Aquí eso es súper importante. No es Wednesday, es Wednesday. Ok. Hay silent letters here. Vamos a ponerla acá. Let's start. That's the correct thing. Wednesday. Wednesday. Sé que suena raro. Ok. So Wednesday, and you? That's okay, I am talking to colleagues and checking reports. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is, okay. So um, here you can see some plans for the future. Tenemos algunos planes a futuro acá, okay. So Wednesday, and let me see if we have some other. For example, example, mm -hmm. aquí es signing, okay, and I, I guess that's it, that's it, it is not so difficult, okay, just give me a second, maybe we can have some, the person who wrote us, Jocelyn. Tú eres Aneris 2.0, mejorada. Okay, thank you, Joseph. Very nice. So here we have, um, yes, we're going to practice, pero antes, solo quiero verificar algo. Give me a second. Okay, before this, we're going to do something. Okay, here we have this. Fill in the blanks with the events, not the events. The events you have at your workplace. Aquí tenemos signing payrolls, sending emails, analyzing the advances. En este caso vamos a cambiar algunas cosas. Por ejemplo, first we're going to change the name. Vamos a cambiarle el nombre. Ya no va a ser Mary, ni va a ser tampoco Rose. Um, vamos a cambiar esto y vamos a cambiar esto. We want to change these activities also. Um, okay, this and this. Esto lo demás eh, no hay problema, verdad? Lo podemos de, de dejar de esta manera. Ahora el punto es este. You are going to have this practice, but instead of Saying these activities, you can add your own activities. Ustedes pueden agregar sus propias actividades. Por ejemplo, está Carly y Judith. Y le dice, hello, Carly. What are some activities you are doing this week? Y Carly le dice, hi, Judith. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am preparing classes on Tuesday. And I eh, check in exams on Wednesday. And you? Y luego Judith le dice, that's okay. I am preparing reports and checking inventory. Okay. Y alguien le puede decir, and who is analyzing the advance in the company? Peter is. Eso no es problema, porque se trata de, de, de la compañía. ¿Quién más podría estar eh, trabajando con los análisis de los avances? Okay. So th that's the point. The, the phrases that I have underlined, las frases que he subrayado, Son las que ustedes pueden cambiarlo. Definitely you're going to change the name as well. También van a cambiar el nombre, ¿verdad? No me van a decir aquí Mary or Rose. Okay? You have to use your own name. Van a usar pues, sus su, su nombres con la, el compañero o la compañera con la que sea. Okay? And then everybody is going to participate. So please practice. Por favor, practiquen. Ya estamos finalizando la tercera semana. 
y debemos de tener más fluidez. If you notice, it is a very short conversation. It means that it's going to be easy. Pase a pase. No problem with this. Necesito que lo diga un poquito rápido, pero bien pronunciado. Ok. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Le voy a dar un par de minutos para que practiquen. Please. Ahorita eh, piensen en dos actividades. Think of two activities that you're going to do. Siempre utilizando el present continuous. Ok. Uh, do we have questions? Tenemos algunas preguntas. No problems with this, right? Está fácil, es sencillo. Simple as that. Okay, um, let me, give me a second. Mientras organizo. Mientras organizo esto. There's a question. David, are you okay? Can you participate? Puedes participar, David? Or are you moving? Because sometimes you are driving. And then here we have also Iris. Everything okay, Iris? Hello. Hello, teacher. Everything okay, todo bien con tu vida? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Excellent, that's the way. Juan, are you there, Juan? Good evening. Okay. Espero que esto conteste. Algunos que no me contestan, imagino que están discutiendo en casa, ojalá que no sea así. And let me see. Just give me a second. Okay, see you in a moment. Hello, Iris. Te llegó la invitación.
Okay, my friends, I guess you're ready, right? Here we have maybe Marvin, Ivania, Patricia, Judith. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, what if we start first with uh, Judith and Marvin and then Ivania and Patricia? Just give me a second. I'm going to look for this conversation. Okay. No, ahorita. Ahorita vamos a comenzar. Okay. Marvin and Judith, please. Okay, comienza Judith. Okay. Hello, Marvin. What are what are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Judith. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am making a cube and report for Saturday in you. Thanks, okay. I am organizing meeting and preparing budget. And who is analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Thank you, very nice. Organizing, okay, Judith, organizing. But everything was really good, thank you. Now let's listen to Ivania. Empathy, right? And then we continue with Christy. Okay. Yep. Hello, Patty. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Carla. Well, well there, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am sending some files and sending the email of authorization on Tuesday. And you? That's okay. I am requesting purchase order and I am meeting with my co-workers to send weekly reports. Um, who is rooms the company meeting? Luis, Luis is. Nice, perfect, because you changed the last part. Good one. Thank you, Christy and company. Okay, Christy, and then we're going to. Juan. Okay, let's Juan. see. We are also, we have also Carly. ¿Verdad? ¿Con quién se dice Carly? Mientras viene Juan. Con Iris. Iris, okay. Carly and Iris, and then Christy and Juan. Okay, Carly. Okay. Eh, Hola Juan. Todavía no está. Por eso te digo primero ah. eh, Carly and Iris y después Ah, okay. Okay, Carly. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. And hello Iris. What, what are some activities you you are doing to this week? Hi Carly. Well, there are many things I'm doing this week. For example, I'm checking the operation on Tuesday and giving new instructions on Wednesday. And you? That's okay. I am talking. That's okay. I am having to do exams and, and I'm sending submit report card. Um, and who is analyzing the operation in the company? Peter is. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Well done. Okay, we go with Christian company and then Fabricio. Okay, Christian Juan, right? Okay. Empiezo entonces. Hello, hello. And ¿Con quién me dijo? ¿Con Fabricio? No, ¿con quién te tocó? Con Juan. Con Juan, pero como me dijo que Después va estaba... Fabricio, ok. Ah, vale. Y Juan ya está ahí. Yes. Hello. Teacher, Hola. Eh, yo no le hice modificación porque estoy en otras cosas, pero lo voy a... No problem. Okay. Continúa con, ese, con, con esa conversación. No problem. Ok, lo que vale. necesito que practique. Empiezo no. entonces. Hello, Mar... Hello, Juan. What are some activities? You are doing this week. This week. Hi, Christine. Hell, well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am signing some payroll 
on Tuesday and sending the mails on Wednesday and you? That's okay. I am helping to collect uh, and check, checking reports. And who is announcing the advance in the company? Here is. Hola. Thank you. Good. Very nice. We go with Fabricio. And who is your classmate, Fabricio? Francisco. Okay. And after we go with Flor. All right. Hello, Francisco. What? Uh, oh, do I have to start? No, no, no. Continue. Okay, okay. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Fabricio. What are many things I do this week? For example, I am good to work the bicycle every day and check the CCTV system Monday and Friday. And you? Searching to the parts and checking stock. And who is analyzing the advance in the company? The teacher is. Oh, come on. <laughs> More work for me, más trabajo para mí. Okay. Nice. Let's listen to Flor and company. Okay, Flor. Elizabeth. Okay. And then Jocelyn. Okay, Flor and Elizabeth. Okay. 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 Sure, teacher. Perfect. Go. Flor. Okay, Flor. Yes, Elizabeth. No, empezamos. Ah, no. <laughs> okay. Hello, <laughs> Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. What are some activities you are doing the week? Hi, Flor. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am sending some report payroll on Friday and sending email on Monday and Friday. And you? That's okay. I am attend meeting on Tuesday and pre prepare report. And who is a, analyzing the advances in the company? Peter is. Good. Thank you. Very nice. Peter, perfect. Okay, we go with Jocelyn. Who is your classmate? William. Okay, and then we go with Roberto. Okay, Jocelyn and William. Okay, si gusta empieza, William. Hello, Jocelyn. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, William. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. For example, I am writing reports on Monday, or I am in meeting on Friday. And you? That's okay. I am the checking the book and do, do this day and calling the customer and when they and when they uh, mm -hmm. okay and who is analyzing the advantage in the company Jocelyn is okay very nice thank you and we go now with Roberto who is your classmate Catherine Kathy okay please are you there, Catherine? Yes. <laughs> okay. He Hello, Catherine. What are some activities you are doing this week? Hi, Roberto. Well, there are many things I am doing this week. Mm, for example, I am sending email on Tuesday and checking report on Wednesday and you. <clears throat> That's okay. I am checking emails and attending a conference. And who is a contact in the company? Peter is. Okay, very nice. Thank you. Uh, Se me queda alguien? Creo que no, ¿verdad? Creo que ya todos pasaron. Okay. Ah, Iris. 
Who is your classmate? Hola. Ajá. Tu compañero, compañero. Eh, Carly, ya pasamos, teacher. Ah, ya pasaron, yes, thank you. Okay, <laughs> sí. I'm sorry. Well, in this case, um, doing, como decir, doing, pero con ing. What are some activities uh, you are doing this week? Y luego tenemos acá, well, there are many things I am doing. Doing, okay, it's important. No hay que decir doing. I am doing, okay, I'm doing. Lo pueden poner aquí. Doing. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. What are you doing? What are some activities you are doing? Well, let's continue. Good pronunciation, my friends. Very nice. And we continue now here with which is more important: talent, hard work, discipline, or perseverance. Okay. And why? In this case, I will miss uh, the participation of. Kathy and then Marvin. Kathy, are you okay? Well, um, well hello. Uh, My mm -hmm. Okay, perdón. Uh, uh, yeah. In my opinion, there are all important this allows use to be better in very hard of the of your lives. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Thank you. What about Marvin and then Kathy Sinopasa? Okay, Marvin. Okay, teacher. My answer is uh, simply simply if you do not get discipline and perseverance. And you cannot develop your skill and daily activities. Mm -hmm. Yes, dreams or your objectives are completed day by day. Okay, so that's it. That's the key. Thank you. And Kathy, ya pasaste, verdad? No. Okay. Pues vas tú, and then we go with William. Okay, I believe. That discipline and perseverance signs both go hand in hand. Perseverance help you to avoid better results. Otherwise, discipline loss this goal set. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yes. Both of them are important. Just one thing discipline. Mm -hmm. Discipline. And yes, we need it in every period in our life. Thank you. Okay, William, and then we go with Iris. My opinion is discipline. For example, the Asian, Asian country have all a lot. Yes. Uh, in China or in Japan, people are very disciplined, and that's why they from since they are child, child, I'm sorry. It, since they are kids, and they they know what to do every single day. Ya saben que eso es de pequeños. Thank you. Okay, it is. Uh, you go and then we go with Flo. Yes, it is. Show time. Can you hear me? Yeah, clearly. For me, the most important thing is discipline. Because discipline. Um, ya bajo volumen, Iris. Estabas, ajá, bien, y después se escucha bien. Me tengo que acercar, tengo que estar así en el micrófono. No. A ver, prueba. Ahora. Ahora. Sí. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. For me. <laughs> okay. For me, teacher, the most important thing is discipline because discipline implies doing what we should do even if we don't feel like it. Yes, uh, it implies a lot of things and people, there are some well, people think that 
someone is lucky. Algunos dicen que algunos tienen suerte, son suertudos, but uh, discipline is like doing a lot of things every single day. Okay, small actions every day. Acciones pequeñas cada día. Thank you, Iris. We go with Flor and then William. Okay. Uh, for me, both are important. They are important because if you work hard, you can have perseverance. Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, William, ya pasaste. Creo que sí. Yes, okay, ya pasé. No te había marcado. Um, Ivania. You go. Are you okay, Ivania? Yes, teacher. Please. Okay, in my opinion, it is the combination of everything to obtain good results. Obtain good results. Result. Result. Results. Mm -hmm. Obtain results. results. Yes, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, very nice. Yes. Uh, at the end, you can obtain results depending on what you do every day, depending on the decisions you take. Para decir, tomar decisiones, se dice, take decisions. Okay. Decisions. Okay. Good. We're going to continue now with this reading. And in, in this case, uh, there are four types of, well, here we have, read this article about four activities. Tenemos cuatro actividades to keep employees happy para mantener a los eh, empleados felices, okay? Discuss if the sentences below are true or false. Después vamos a ver si son verdaderas o falsas algunas de las oraciones que vamos a revisar, okay? Here we have this. Number one, organize yoga classes. That is one activity that maybe can be done in some companies, okay? And you're going to read, and I'm going to mark the beginning and the end, okay? We're going to start with Marvin. Organize yoga classes, okay? Let's listen. Okay. Run till, well, no. Okay. Until if, here. If you, if work, you are in an office and your employees are sitting in a computer every day. Thank you. Wow. Yes, thank you. Now let's listen to uh, Flor and then Kathy. Flor, don't underestimate. Under. Underestimate. Underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Outlook, attitude. From the attitude or attitude? Attitude. Yes. Okay. okay. And we go with Kathy. Yoga. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release the tension, improve the brain function, and your mood. What was when one does outcomes? Okay, yes. There are some of advantages of doing yoga, okay? Alleviate stress, calm the mind, calm the mental, release tension. So it says, uh, what was when one those outcomes? Okay, very nice. We start now with number two, celebrate birthdays. And in this case, we're going to start with Iris and then we go with Jessica. Okay, celebrate birthdays. You don't just. Okay. You don't just have to uh, rally on rely. Mm -hmm. ah. Rely on business game to boss. Mm. Morale. Moral. Simply act. Acknowledging. Esa palabra es rara. Acknowledging. <laughs> sí. yeah. Special occasion have a big impact. Thank you. Okay. Jocelyn, please. And then we go with Ivani. It shows. It shows your team that you care about 
team as people, not just uh, employees. Employees, thank you. Okay, Ka, uh, Ivania, get everyone. Get everyone to sing a card half K once a month or simply buy them around. Buy them around of coffees. Of coffee each time someone in your team has a birthday. Has a birthday. Okay, that's okay. Thank you. We're going to continue in this time with Francisco. Paintball. That's activity number three. And then we go with Carly. Uh, give for employees an opportunity to let off some steam by organizing a day of paintball. Paintball, okay. Steam is como el vapor que tenemos, ¿verdad? La presión. Entonces, okay, thank you. We go now with Carly and then Christy. Okay, simply getting out of the office can work wonders for staff moral. Moral, thank you. Okay, watch out. So, Christy. Watch all those as the boss. You're, you're going to be a prime target. A prime target. Okay. A prime target. Thank That's you. It. We go now with Judith. Guess who? Guess who is an activity that is Adivina King? Okay. We go with Judith and then we're going to listen to Kathy. Ask. Everyone to bring a child, childhood, 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 childhood for photo of ten cells Self. mm -hmm. and put them and put them all up on a board and then get everyone, everyone, everyone to to put their best guesses. Guesses for work on each one. Thank you, very nice. Okay, and Kathy, it's a bit of easy. It's a bit of easy line. Hearted. Hearted fun that will define me how live spirit. We're offering plenty of humor along the way. Okay, thank you. Now, here we have this. And four activities. Number one, organize yoga classes to relax. Number two, celebrate birthdays. Number three, paintball. And number four, guess who? Guess who is to present, for example, a childhood photograph, una foto de niño. And that's really funny because we have like funny photographs and sometimes we look really different in comparison to our childhood appearance. So those are activities to relax uh, employees to have like different activities in the office. Okay, now here we have number one, two, three, four, and five. And some of them you're going to say true or false. Okay, so I need you to take a look at this and you tell me what number you want to say. One, two, three, four, or five. Okay, and then we're going to say true or false but we're going to compare the text with these sentences. Vamos a comparar el texto con estas oraciones, okay? Do we have any volunteers? I know who is going to participate, but the first one is going to be Iris, okay? And then you tell me the rest, what number would you like to say? Okay, it is one, two, three, four, or five. Um, number two. Number two. Yes, I think it's true. Can you read it, please? Read. Ah, yoga sorry. releases. Yoga releases tension, but it does calm the mind. Okay, Re releases tension, but it doesn't calm the mind. Relaja la tensión, pero no, no calma la mente, okay? Yoga help alleviate, alleviate stress, calm the mind release things. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it is true or false? 
False. Okay, here we have false. Thank you. Okay, any other volunteer? Because I have some names. For example, Carly. Number one teacher. Okay. Uh, Marvin yoga. and then Carly. Prepárate, Carly, para la acción. Okay, number one, yoga. Marvin. Yoga has important effect on employees. True. Okay, important effect on employees. Yes. Definitely important effect. Yes, the impact of it will have attitude. Yes. Definitely it's true, right? True. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Marvin. Okay. Um Carly. And after Carly, we're going to have Flo. And number five. 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 And uh, childhood for us can offend employees. What do you it's think? True. Okay. Well, it doesn't say that. No dice acá. But maybe, maybe it could be. Depends. But depends on the photographs you present. Depends on the photos you want to present. Hay photos que no se las queremos enseñar a nadie. Yes. It's like top secret. And there are some other photographs that you can show the album and people say, oh, so cute. Okay. Nice. And okay. we go with Flor. And yeah. after Flor, we're going to have Jocelyn. Number four. Mm -hmm. Workers can place paintball inside the office. What do you think? Can play paintball inside the office? <clears throat> they say simply getting out of the office. Also. So, it's uh -huh, it's false mm -hmm. because it's better to have paintball outside, not inside. Thank you. And just reading number three, based on the reading. Okay, based on the reading, the special occasion occasion are not important. What do you think? Yeah. Special occasions are not important, or they are important. True. Ok, basado en la lectura, las ocasiones especiales no son importantes. It's true. Ah, fue. It's false, because important yeah. occasions or dates, yes, they are important. Ok, thank you. We continue now with this. Ok. Do you think schools are teaching the skills needed to success in life? ¿O tuvieron las herramientas necesarias o las habilidades necesarias en la escuela para tener éxito en la vida. Do you think that schools are doing a good job or not? Okay, this, ya está con todo. Okay, nice. Let's listen to Iris, que está indignada esta mujer. Okay. No, teacher. Esto es perdón, un perdón. Un ejercicio de catarsis. <laughs> okay. Perdón, todavía no la tengo lista. Ay, estaba ahí de... Okay, no problem. Well, let's listen to remember that everybody has different experiences. And that's good. And remember that schools before are kind of different than schools that we have now, but we're talking about schools of what? Like 15 years ago, 20 years ago, as a teen, 17, okay? Let's see what's your opinion. And here we're going to start with Kathy, thank you, and then Marvin. Mm, maybe not necessary. Um, one bought some buses, bus. Mm -hmm. Basis, la Basis. Bases. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Important words, not the necessary, but the basis. It's como lo básico, okay? Really good. Thank you. What about you, Marie? What's your opinion about this? Remember the time when you were studying or when you changed school, for example, from ninth grade to high school, the novena bachillerato, you can notice the difference, right? But let's see. Okay, okay. and my answer, 
uh, is yes. Can you obtain more than civil values, professional ethics, which are the fundamental basis for life? Mm -hmm. Yes, the, the values, that is something that it is important, but it is not taught in every uh, school. But of course, you can learn things that are going to be important, but maybe not all the things, but it's part of it. Okay, let's, what about if we have Elizabeth? And then today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ahorita, teacher. La chica de, la, de las promociones. Ahora no, no lo vi venir. <laughs> Ya okay. se me quitó el superpoder. La regaste, te tenía que aprovechar. <laughs> From my point of view, I consider that life continually touch us many things. And we never stop learning. Mm -hmm. School is important, but they not the age you want it take to success. It provides the foundation that requires effort, dedication, and commitment to achieve the objectives we want. Mm -hmm. Very important. Uh, schools is not everything. You can learn a lot of things at school, but you learn a lot of things after school. Yes, good point. And let's listen now to hey, Judith. Hey, Judith. And my opinion, yes, subjects such as creativity, mathematics, English also develop skills, teamwork, and case analyst to develop critical thinking. Good, good, yes. There are some parts that you can develop in advance. Lo puedes desarrollar un poquito antes or not. Teamwork, it's important. Trabajar en equipo, that's really, really important because you can apply that in real jobs and trabajos reales. Definitely, you have to work with other people and you have differences. So you have to get a cousin, I think cousin there's a book to us, okay? Good, good, thank you, very nice. Um, let's listen to Jocelyn and then Carly. Okay, um, it is a very interesting topic because nowadays there are many teachers who do not care about te teaching the skill correctly. They only do it of commitment, but is the only thing I consider that if it is about te teaching, the main skill that we need to obtain a better future. Good. In some, there are a lot of teachers that they just want to complete the plan that they have, unfortunately. There are teachers that they like their jobs and there are some others that they don't like their jobs. And that's really important. If you love what you do, everything is going to be right. But if you are like, oh, come on, another day, yes, it's well, very difficult. Thank you, Jessica, but you are right. Okay. Carly, here we have a teacher, a really interesting point, okay? Mm -hmm. Because you can base your answer, your opinion on your experience in the past and your current job, okay? Please. Okay. I think not entirely because on the one hand, in school students are, are being updated with technology, uh, which is essential for now and in the future. But I also believe that this system is only training children with the skills that will be productive for the state and not for their own life. Important, very important words. Uh, 
two important things that you said. One, the technology is different before and now, and that makes a big difference. We didn't have all of you, those who said it. You know, you're young, I'm home in a day. But um, in the past, we didn't have internet. We had to go to the library, open the different books, checking the books, and uh, to get information, the necessary information. Now we have access, a very simple access to whatever we want. One. Second, is that the uh, government plan, uh, it's like limited sometimes. Now maybe we can have different uh, aspects, but uh, the program has been very limited. As you see, limited the program in all the materials, right? In every, because uh, the program is, well, in the past, I don't know how many years before, but it was focused on grades, se enfocaba en las notas, not in competences, no en las competencias, no en las habilidades. So mm, that's a big switch that we have to do. Tenemos que dar ese cambio, very fundamental. Thank you, Carly. Okay, we're going to continue later with this. We go now with, okay, this image, uh, well, I'm going to send this image. Voy a enviarle esta imagen. Here I have it ready for you. So you can notice that in this case, we have studied, see, affirmative. We have studied this affirmative, okay? And also we have studied negative, que esta fase ya hemos hecho las negativas. And also we have studied questions or interrogative. Ahora vamos a ver WH questions. The WH questions are basically similar to the, to the questions. Son básicamente parecidas a estas. Lo único que le vamos a agregar estas palabras, las palabras que utiliza un reportero. What, when, where, who, how, why. Okay, so let's see. And I need you to read some of them. Okay, I'm going to close this up. Okay. Um, I need you to read it, number one, um, Marvin, and then we go with Patty. Okay, Marvin, read, please, okay. read, number one. What? Eh, tengo que formar la oración? No, just read. Ah, le oh, perdón, perdón. No problem. What you doing tonight? Okay, thank you. Patty and then Roberto. When, Patty? When are you coming? Thank you, Roberto and William. Where? Where is she heading to? Heading to, thank you. Okay, William and Christy. Who is leaving today? Nice, Christy, how? Uh, are we? Christmas. Um, mm -hmm. Christmas. Así, así es informal para decir Navidad. Christmas. Es bendice, se dice así. Sí, así está bien. Okay, Frank. Why? And then Ivania. Why is the seeing him tomorrow? Thank you. And Ivania, with whom? With whom is she meeting? Okay, really nice. So in this case, we're going to have a worksheet. Pero antes de eso, déjenme ver si son estos los Teacher, uh, can you repeat the last? Uh, the last, please. Okay, okay. Do I have this? Yes, the last question. With whom? Con quién? Hay dos maneras para hacer esta pregunta. Podemos decir with whom o con with eso? whom. With, así como with, with you, 
with she with whom who is she meeting with también se puede hacer así la, la pregunta ahora whom es for whom para quién hace una canción de metálica for whom the bell tolls para quién suenan las campanas for whom the bell tolls ah, no, no, no. cabal uh -huh. <laughs> The right lightning. Entonces, for whom o to whom también. To whom. Para quién. A quién. Ok, Fabricio. Everything in order. Marvin, yes. That's ok, thank you. You're welcome. Sure. Eh, una duda. Eh, cuando una pregunta eh, comienza con el verbo vi, ¿es cerrada o abierta? Es cerrada. Por ejemplo, cuando le preguntan a alguien, are you, are you a student? Yes. Are es, you, ¿Qué es respuesta de sí o yes no? Yes no. Are you Superman? Ah, okay. No. Ok. Um, are you married? ¿Está casado? Yes. Ok. And all those things, yes or no. Pero cuando okay. utilizamos a W, es que la respuesta es diferente. Es abierta. No vamos a contestar con sí o con no. Okay. okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Así que estas son las mismas que esta. Solo que antes va a ir what, where, who, how y todo eso. Ok. Good. Bien, vamos a hacer um, un... A ver. Un ejercicio acá. Pero antes que eso vamos a tener un listening. Aquí tenemos que no tener listening. Ahorita vamos a. Okay, here we have this listening. I'm going to prepare. Give me a couple seconds. Dame un par de segundos solo para preparar el audio. Okay, I'm going to play two times. Let's uh, be ready and write the words that you can identify. Thank you, Luis. We need to state that the brain's activities are so high that one might feel he or she is awake, although they are fast asleep to dream. A dream can be hard to remember when one wakes up from sleep. One may have a dream for hours or just a few seconds. Thus, the dream is a component of sleep that most of the people experience while asleep. Okay, let's listen again. Speech and dreams. In this stage, the brain's activities are so high that one might feel he she is awake, although they are fast asleep and dream. A dream can be hard to remember when one wakes up from sleep. One may have a dream for hours or just a few seconds. Thus, the dream is a component of sleep that most of the people experience while asleep. Okay. Let's listen to some of you. Does anybody have one word? Alguien tiene una palabra? Two words, three words. Yeah. Technology. Okay. <laughs> Technology. Okay, nice. Se la ganaste a Flor, creo. Flor. Uh, United States. Green mm -hmm. card. Remember. People experience. Okay, very nice. Yo creo que me estás inventando unas palabras, Flor. Pero ya vamos a ver. Creo que es parte de tu no. creatividad. Okay. <laughs> No problem, thank you. Let's listen to Marvin and Patty. Eh, logré captar. Eh, let me have a dream I use. Okay. Nice, good one. Patty and then Iris. 
behind, behind weekly, a week activity I have. Nice, good one. Perfect. It is. Sí, no escuché nada, teacher. Solo escuché algo sobre el sleep. <laughs> okay, sleep. Ah, porque tenés sueño. Okay, no problem. <laughs> no. Let's listen to Carly and then Judith. Que con la mente me están diciendo. <laughs> People experience. People experience. Yeah, good one. Okay, Judith. And people. <laughs> well, that's correct. Nice. I'm going to present the, this image. It's speech on dreams, que es como un pequeño discurso sobre los sueños. Okay, let's listen. Speech on dreams. In this stage, the brain's activities are so high that one might feel she is awake, although she has fast asleep and dream. A dream can be hard to remember when one wakes up from sleep. One may have a dream for hours or just a few seconds. Thus, the dream is a component of sleep that most of the people experience while asleep. Okay, now if you notice, there are some uh, words that, yeah. You identify really good. Okay, and in this uh, only 23 minutes, so 23 minutes, y pues vamos a finalizar la clase. Okay, checking these words, vamos a revisar en lo que estábamos viendo anteriormente. Okay. Eso, ¿verdad? Los WH questions. Entonces, aquí, miren, what is he doing? Tonight? When are you coming? Where is she heading to? So, in this case, what we're going to do is to complete, vamos a completar estas, um, these questions, always using verb be, utilizando el verbo to be, y el verbo con ing. Okay? So, Check here how one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So definitely Frank is going to complete one and it is two. Okay. Yes. But the first one is going to be Judith. Como siempre me dice. Drop it to Okay. So Judith, it is and Frank. Okay, Judith, what number? One. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. Well, easy, easy. Okay. What are you doing? Nice. We go with Iris and then Frank. Um, number. Cuatro. Number four. The one, two, three, four, who? Yes. Um, who are you talking? Mm -hmm. yes. Talking to. Okay. Who are uh, you talking to? Thank you. Okay, now let's listen. Eso me to confunde, you. teacher. Okay, talk to. Mm -hmm. Talking to. ¿Por qué te confunde? Sí. Eso. Ajá. Uh, por ejemplo, listen to. Es que ya lo habíamos visto, pero. No, no, no. Lo hiciste bien. Solo el to, en este caso, va con algunos verbos. Por ejemplo, I want to talk to you. Quiero hablar de ti. I want to talk to my boss. Quiero hablarle a mi jefe. Entonces, talk to. Ya están casados esas dos palabras. Talk to. Por ejemplo, listen, listen to me. Escúchame. Escúchame a mí. Okay, so that's only. Who are you talking? It's okay. Frank, and after Frank, we're going to listen to Fabricio. Okay, Frank. Number five. Number Mambo, number five. Okay. Uh, when when are they come? 
Con me. Mm -hmm. Con me. Okay. Perfect. When are they coming? Good. And Fabricio, and then we go with Flo. Number one, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Number eight. Okay. What um, are you reading? Uh, oh, what is I? Mm -hmm. What? What am I? Yes. Reading. Bien raro, Estoy leyendo. Eh, pregunta mm -hmm. retórica. Estoy leyendo. Okay. Thank you. And let's listen to Flor and after that, Kat. Number nine. Number nine. Okay. Where is where is she staying? Mm -hmm. Or is she saying nice? Okay. Kathy and Carly. Mm. Number three. Mm. Where is the cat sleeping? Good one. Where is the cat sleeping? Okay, nice. Carly, and after Carly, we go with William. And how much beer? What number? I'm are, and uh, the last. Yes, the ultima. Okay. How much beer are 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 you drinking? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. How much beer are you drinking? Solo una. Okay. Yeah. Ah, no. Okay. Sorry, Kat. And you. <laughs> no, not me. You. Okay. Let's listen to William, right? William and then Roberto. Number six. How are you traveling? Yes, easy. There are some fancy. How are you traveling? Thank you. Okay, uh, Roberto. Uh, yes. And then Ivan. Uh, number two. Number two. Why is the girl lonely? Love. Lonely. Love. Lonely. Mm -hmm. Lucky. Mm -hmm. Ok, en este caso, cuando va la F y la H, la G y la H, se pronuncia la G y H es, se pronuncia como F, love, love, que es carcajadas, risas. Por ejemplo, dice, why is the girl laughing? ¿Por qué se está riendo la chica? Love, okay, so that's it. And and let's listen to Ivania, number seven, right? How? Okay. How many cases is it eating? Good. Thank you very much. We don't have questions, right? Because it is really easy. And 16 minutes and we're going to finish. Solo tenemos pues, eh, 16 minutos. And we're going to, let me see. We're going to practice. Um, we're going to practice uh, these two conversations and then Ya casi estaremos por terminar. Solo hacemos esta práctica y luego vamos. Then we're going to check some exercises. De ahí vamos a ver algunos ejercicios para terminar. Ok. 
just let me check. I'm just checking the words that I consider that can be confused. Nor, nor, they are not so difficult. I guess they are really easy. Okay, conversation number three. What classes are you taking next term? I am taking math and history, math. La T y la H se pronuncia como Z, math and history. Nice, I am taking math too. Who is teaching the class? Prof Smith or Professor Smith is teaching it. Oh no, I hear his heart. ¿Qué clases vas a tomar el siguiente semestre? Voy a tomar matemática e historia. Qué bien, yo voy a tomar matemáticas también. ¿Quién va a enseñar la clase? El profesor Smith la va a enseñar. Oh, no. Escuché que él es difícil. Number four. What is going on tonight? Bill is having a party. Oh, really? When and where? He's having it at his house. It is starting at six. Who is going? Everyone's going. You should come. ¿Qué hay para esta noche? Bill va a tener una fiesta. Oh, de verdad. ¿Cuándo y dónde? Él la va a tener en su casa. Va a comenzar a las seis. ¿Quién va a ir? Todos van a ir. Tú deberías venir. Should. Math. Here should. Okay, in this case, we're going to have this uh, very brief practice. A ver si me ayuda en este caso, Jocelyn. Can you help me with the screenshot? I don't know if we can have this. Jocelyn, me podrías apoyar? con la screenshot y cuando regresemos ok, si Jocelyn no me puede uh, pues, ok, thank you very nice, really nice, thank you yeah, vamos a practicar un poco ya tenemos solo 12 minutes, imagínense en 12 minutos terminamos la clase, ok, no problem See you in a moment. Lo veo en un momento. Hola, Ceci. Hello, Ceci. Hay que aceptar la solicitud, Cristian, ¿ok? Jocelyn, I can I need to accept the request. Thank you.
Okay, let's listen to the last practice. Vamos a escuchar la última práctica. Roberto, can you help me with conversation number three, please? Uh, who is your classmate? Katherine is my Kathy. partner. Kathy, okay. Kathy. What a minute. Este no perdió. Okay. Okay. Okay, Kathy. Espérame que sí. Se me perdió la, la conversación. Ok, se ve que está bien, Roberto. Ok, conversation Acá. number three. And then we're going to have conversation number four with other participants and greetings. Ok, that's good. Ok. What classes are you talking next term? I'm talking math and history and history. Nice. I am talking math too. Who is teaching the class? Prof Smith and teaching it. Oh no, I hear he is hard. Yes, I hear he is hard. Okay, just one detail. Vamos a decir, taking. Mm -hmm. Taking, taking. Okay. Take. And to finish with conversation four, we're going to have in this case two. Okay, Marvin, conversation for who is your classmate? Judith. Okay, Judith. Please. Are you ready? <coughs> yes. Yes, he's ready. Okay, comienzo yo, usted. Usted. Okay, why is it going tonight? Bill is having a party. Oh, really? Going and where? He is having it at his house. It is straining at six. Who is going? Everyone's going. You should come. Good one. Very nice. Yes, going on. Cuando decimos going on, es como decir, what's up? ¿Qué hay? ¿Qué sucede? Going on. What is going on? It started, es que va comenzando, okay? It is starting at six, va a comenzar a las six. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list, okay? Remember that uh, on Friday, you should have finished the unit number three. Para el viernes ya debe estar finalizada la unidad tres. And I guess that we have, as we have seen this contents, como hemos visto estos temas, ya, ya pueden completar la, la, los ejercicios, aunque no están tan complicados. But now you have a better idea how to do it. So uh, please say hi, good evening, hello, goodbye, and good night. And Patty, tonight is your session. Ahora te toca la sesión, okay, Patty? Así que te quedas después de la clase. Okay. Quedas unos minutos. Okay. So I'm going to check the attendance list. Here we have uh, Elizabeth. Hello. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye. Hello. Bye. Se me quedaron algunos sin la question number two. Mañana se las pregunto. No se preocupe. Mañana las hacemos. Ok. Flor. Perfect teacher. Ok. No crean que ya se me ha salvado. Ok. Francisco. Good night, teacher. Good night. And here we have um, Iris. Good night. And... Jimmy, no sé si todavía se ha conectado. Eh, Juan. Yes. Hi, teacher. Hello, Judith. Good night. Ok. Um, Ivania. Hello, and good night, teacher. Hello. Bye. And listen to um, Carly. Hi, teacher. Hi, Katy. Good night. Good night. Uh, David. Here, teacher. Okay. Marvin. Present teacher. Okay, good. Nelson. Goodbye, teacher. Bye, Patty. Present teacher. Roberto, thank you. 
present present Thank you. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye, uh, William. Present. Okay, uh, Jocelyn. Good night, teacher. Good night, okay. Uh, solo se me queda Patty. El resto nos vemos mañana. Okay, have a good night. Bye bye, my friends. See you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye, good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, Patty, uh, now you tell me if you have uh, if you have questions, difficulties, tienes preguntas, dificultades, o digamos uh, algo que consideras un tanto complicado, difícil, vocabulary, conversations, grammar, gramática. No, teacher, creo que estamos bien. Las actividades pues nos ayudan. Uh, bueno, las en línea nos ayudan a practicar lo visto en clase y las adicionales pues nos ayudan con el vocabulario. Mm. Igual si tenemos alguna eh, que mala pronunciación, pues dentro del, cuando lo vamos diciendo, ustedes nos corrigen. Entonces, mm -hmm. no, por el momento creo que todo está bien. Dicho. Ok, sí, he escuchado una, una mejoría. ¿Verdad? No sé si le dedicas un poco más de tiempo al a inglés o a practicar o a las tareas. Pero porque sé que te, tienes horarios un poquito ajustados. Fíjense que no, teacher. De hecho, esta semana le he dedicado menos tiempo al inglés que cualquier otra de las semanas uh -huh. anteriores. Eh, de hecho, ayer le comentaba a Roberto que estamos en un periodo de auditoría interna, auditoría fiscal, auditoría financiera. Entonces, eh, y adicional a eso, pues me han pedido de que eh, me haga cargo de la auditoría financiera de Honduras. Entonces, sí, ha sido un poco más difícil poder hacer las tareas sí, 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 y sí, conectarme sí, en sí, tiempo, sí. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, este, quizás las semanas pasadas sí he notado quizás un poco más las, tus opiniones, las respuestas un poquito más extensas. Sí. Pero a lo que me refiero es que sí este, tiene cierta fluidez y espero que pues continúe así. Ok, Pati, sé que te está un poco complicado, pero vamos a hacer solo una práctica de estos conversation 3 and 4 y terminamos. Ok. Ok. Vamos. Comienzo yo. What classes are you taking next term? I'm taking math and history. Nice. I am taking math too. Who's teaching the class? Professor Smith is teaching it. Oh no. I hear he he's hard. Excellent. Conversation four. What is going on tonight? Bill is having a party. Oh really? When and where? He's having it it at his house. It is starting at six. Who is going? Everyone's going. You should come. You should come. Okay, excellent. And so that's uh, everything, Patty. Yo sé que estás haciendo un gran esfuerzo. Solo recuerda siempre si puedes avanzar en una de las tareas para que no se te acumule. Okay. Sí, las so, tareas, sí. De hecho, voy adelantada ya en la uh -huh. plataforma, ya las terminé. Sí, he, he visto como, como tres estudiantes que ya, ya terminaron todo y qué bueno porque ya salieron de eso, ¿verdad? Recuerda que ya no quedan pocas clases y después ya, pues, sí. eh, ¿verdad? Hay, hay espacio pues, para hacer otras actividades. ¿Ok, Pat? Sí, gracias, Tisha. Ok, nice. Bueno, un gusto. Entonces, see you tomorrow. ¿Ok, Pat? See you tomorrow, Tisha. Bye, bye. Bye.